We have a special guest today on Primetime Local News. Dr. Betsy Grunch is joining us today. Betsy is an inspiration in her career and also on social media. Dr. Grunch, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Well, I want to start out by talking about uh, the fact that you're a spinal surgeon, which is amazing. And that takes obviously a lot of hard work. So can you tell me a little bit about what you went through as far as schooling and residencies and such, how long that took you to get uh, become a spinal surgeon? Yes. So after high school, I did a bachelor of science degree in, in biology. And then I did a four-year degree at medical school at the Medical College of Georgia. And then I matched a neurological surgery at Duke, which was a six-year program at the time. So I did an impulsive spine fellowship during my residency. Well, that's obviously a lot of education, and, and you have to be serious about this, obviously. Why did you want to decide that this was going to be your specialty? So for me, um, I really, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I grew up, just like most most kids. I wanted to be like my mom. My mom raised me as a single mom. Um, she was a police officer. I really wanted to be a police officer. Um, and then she was injured in the line of duty when I was 13 years old. I, um, she was involved in an auto accident and she suffered a spinal cord injury. So she became instantly quadriplegic right before I started high school. And that experience was obviously very transformational in my life. Um, we went from doing things one way to having our life completely uprooted and being something totally different. Um, and it's been that way ever since. So in her journey and her rehab and her recovery surgery, I really wanted to cure people like her. I wanted to be in neuroscience and learn about the spine. And I really wanted to take a job in which I could learn how to cure spinal cord injury. So that was that was my ultimate goal and kind of why I set out to, to become a spine surgeon. Now, the other thing is, Dr. Grunch, is you teach as well. As if your schedule isn't busy enough, you still find time to teach, go to conferences. You're always learning. Why is that part important to you? I think as a doctor and as a, I mean, even as an individual growing and learning how to better ourselves is so important. And we only are our best self is if we continue to push our knowledge. So for me, I really enjoy teaching. I enjoy teaching about my specialty, whether that's on social media or teaching surgeons a particular technique. Um, so I just, I really, I really enjoy that. And I love spreading, uh, spread, spreading knowledge about my field. So many women and even younger girls see you as an inspiration, especially because you've become such a hit on social media uh, and you do take the serious part, but you also really like to have fun. So uh, how do you decide on some of the topics that you like to go through on, on social media? I I just share how I'm feeling for the day, I guess. I um, My platform is about my career, but it's just a, really about me. So you know, some days I, I teach, some days I take a lighthearted comedy type side. Sometimes I show my mom self, my kids. Um, it's just a fun way for me to express myself. And it's, it's kind of grown in a, a way that I really never expected. And it's transformed into something totally uh, unexpected. So it's just been, it's been a really fun journey for me. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much how I, I decide it's just random. <laughs> Well, the one thing that you do on a regular basis is the case of the week, which is really awesome because that also teaches people about uh, different things that you deal with as well. But then the next time, you know, we'll see you and your team, which you guys seem to have so much fun, you know, wearing different scrubs or whatever the case may be. So why is it important to show the balance too that you're not just all hard work? I think in healthcare, it's so important to realize that it's not just the doctor that's doing the work. It's a whole team effort. And me and my journey, I, I started out you know, filing records when I was in high school and uh, being a, nerd, a certified nursing assistant. And I was even, I did triage for a while. So I've seen, you know, all aspects of healthcare in my journey to where I am now. And I think it's important to acknowledge that healthcare is a team sport. And, you know, I appreciate every member of my staff that helps me take excellent care of patients. And I think, and, you know, it starts from the time the patient even checks in to the office and greets the the person and I think, you know, I, I just like to show my appreciation for my team and show that side of healthcare that it is, it, it is multiple people that are involved. So it's fun. Now you're sitting with well over a million followers now. Did you ever expect that when you started this? <laughs> no, it's, um, it's really been crazy. I just started just to kind of, I was bored uh, during COVID and I just started using it as a way to express myself and it's just continued to grow 
in a way that's become really inspirational to me. And I know people say that I inspire a lot of other people, but just listening to people and comments and responses, it's really been inspirational and transformational to me as a, as a person too. So I just, I really enjoy every step. So where do you go from here, Dr. Grunch? Are we going to see a, a brand where you go grunch worldwide? Maybe you're distributing headbands and scrubs and you know your own seminars, that kind of thing. Have you thought that far in advance? I'm just living for the moment. Um, I do have, I have a headband collection that's been new. Um, you know, I, I love scrubs and color and stuff. So I don't know where it'll take, where it'll take me. I'm just, I'm just here for the, I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> and what is your advice, Dr. Grunch, for people who, um, you know, might even be struggling, uh, but they really want a career and they see you and they want to have a career similar to yours. And, and, you know, you have to work so hard for that. And some people, it takes them a little bit longer. So, so what's your advice for people who are trying to get on the same or similar path as yours? I just want people to know that, you know, to follow their dream really. And it doesn't really matter where you're at at the moment and where you, it's where you want to be. And I think anybody can realize if I can do it and anybody can do it, but you know, to, I, I feel a lot of, of women in particular that don't think that they can do what I do because they want to be a mom or they want to have a family. And so I try to show that side that you can do this and still have a family, or maybe, maybe people don't think that they would fit in because of their personality or maybe their ethnicity. They don't feel like you know, they, they would match. And I think, um, I, I just want people to know that it really is such a rewarding career, healthcare and taking care of people. And I think there's been studies that, that show, you know, people that take care of people like them do better. So women do better with women surgeons, um, African-American or, um, people of color do better when they're, their PCP or the same at they have better, less mortality. There's, it's just so important to diversify healthcare so we continue to provide the best care to our patients. Well, Dr. Grunch, thank you for joining me today. And if people are looking for you, if they haven't already found you on social media, uh, where's the best place to go? Lady Spine Doc. Um, I'm on most platforms under that under that name. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Grunch. We really appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me.